I'll take my chances, and if I get killed, I'll just get killed. But I'm not leaving the property. I'll stay here till I die. New tonight, it is a risk a Nashville neighbor says she takes every day living on Elm Hill Pike. Luann Brown has witnessed multiple tragic accidents outside of her house in the 40 years she's lived on that property. News 2's Kendall Ashman is here to share the changes neighbors are now demanding. Well, Haley, tomorrow Metro Council member Russ Bradford is holding a town hall meeting to address those concerns with neighbors, police and NDOT. Luann tells me it's long overdue. There was a Porsche one Sunday morning, went up the shoulder, ended up flipped all the way to across the yards, ended up upside down in our front yard. For Luann Brown, she has countless stories of accidents like this. These are catastrophic, horrific wrecks. They're not just fender benders. That doesn't even count the fender benders where they rear end each other. They top the hill doing 60. Back in January, this was the scene in Luann's front yard after Metro Police say the driver was speeding and hit this tree. And the jaws of life had to cut him out, and he's still fighting for his life in Vanderbilt. The flames were 40 feet tall in that tree. In November, News 2 crews captured the aftermath of this car versus bus accident that left one person dead. Luann says what makes this road so dangerous is the blind hill turning left out of her driveway and the shoulder of the road that is deteriorating. But that's not all. The speed and the recklessness has increased expeditionally here on this property. It is just unbelievable. She says her suggestion to officials has continued to fall on deaf ears. We've begged them to put radar. We've offered our property up here on the hill as a site to sit the radar. They can hide behind our, our persimmon tree. It's a good, good hidden area. We've offered, we've begged them to come. And according to Council Member Bradford's Facebook event page, tomorrow's town hall meeting is in response to a fiery crash last month. He also extended invitations to the area's state rep and senator, as well as TDOT. Now, the town hall meeting is tomorrow at noon at Whitworth Memorial Baptist Church. Those details can be found on our website, WKRN.com. Bob.